What's something you wish you knew earlier as it relates to your college social life? Hmm. Uh, that's a good question. Hey guys, today I am on a college campus to ask students what their experience has been like and if they have any tips for you all to take away from. So let's get into this video. I am here with Alden, Bailey Kimball, I am Talha, I am Noyon, Zach Wagner, Margaret, I'm Grace, Josh. So hi Gabby, how are you liking so far uh, being on campus in college? I love it. I've been here for um, three years now and it's been a great experience. And what are you studying? Uh, economics. Psychology and minoring in Spanish. Finance. Sport management. Psychology. Econ. Doing PhD in computational math. I'm also studying PhD in computation and applied mathematics. So during undergrad, did you guys study here in the U.S. or in Bangladesh? No, no, I studied in Bangladesh and after that I came here for PhD. Uh, same to me. So, for my first question, what's something you wish you knew earlier about your college classes? Um, that you need to be at all of them. Uh, that's a big thing and then also that like you just read it like we have like a lot of readings and like you realize like you don't kind of have to do it but you should do it because like it helps on tests and everything like that so just read what you're supposed to read and go to class. I wish I knew probably when I was enrolling to maybe get on it pretty early because classes uh, fill up very quick and it gets kind of annoying at that when you put it off you know. How late did you wait to do that? Uh, well, my first semester, I didn't even realize I could enroll, like, kind of during the summer. And I ended up, like, <laughs> pretty much enrolling in everything the day I got here and uh, moved in. So it was kind of a mess, but it all turned out fine. I'd say don't be afraid to, like, go up to your teachers and ask for help because most of them are, like, really, really excited when you go talk to them because they don't really get a lot of students <laughs> that, like, actually go talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. And so they're usually, like, they're really happy to help. Next question. So what's something you wish you knew earlier as it relates to your college social life? Hmm. Uh, that's a good question. Oh, yeah. I guess I came here without knowing anybody, so I think it would, it would have been nice to know kind of more about the, the groups and, like, the sports, because I met a lot of my friends through, like, playing intramural, uh, like, football and soccer. Um, so I wish that was something that was kind of pushed on freshmen more. Making friends is not a scary thing. Everyone else is looking for friends, too, so don't be afraid to go start a conversation with somebody. I'd say kind of off the same like topic first semester like everybody's looking for friends and if you don't find your best friends like first semester of college don't freak out because you have all four years to make friends and usually the friends that you meet the first day like aren't going to be your best friends so just be open to meeting everybody. Exactly like I had some issues my first couple of years with trying to make friends so being involved in organizations of course helps and then like even wearing something on your shirt that uh, symbolizes something that you're a fan of like I like to wear a lot of anime shirts so people come up to me saying hey oh you like anime and then we, we connect on that so I don't think you have to go out like a ton I would say that okay. I feel like I, I went out a good bit last semester I don't really like I don't think it affected my social life like that much though it might take a little second to like meet your people but you have to get involved in different things in order to like really find um, your group I think at least for me. When I came here, I tried to meet some of my native nation people who came from Bangladesh. I tried to go to some international event so that you could find lots of friends. In Dallas, it's pretty diversified place, so you would have plenty of options to find lots of things if you need anything. Where exactly did you make most of your friends from? Um, I met a lot of people through like Stampede here, which is like the you know the thing we have for all freshmen our first years or whatever. So through there and through my dorm and my fraternity and stuff like that. So. And are you involved in any particular organizations? Yeah, um, I'm involved in a sorority and I'm also involved in like some faith-based organizations as well. What's your experience been so far being in a fraternity and why did you choose to do that? Um, I chose to because you meet a lot of uh, really great people that are going to propel you further, uh, especially after college. So that's something why I chose to do it and my experience has been like yeah, really great so far. Most of the friends are in my class <laughs> and since it's my first year though I just involved in a Muslim association here so it's really fun and all the members are really amazing. Any tips for saving and or making money as a student that you wish you knew earlier? Saving money around here is pretty hard. Nowadays it's really difficult to save because 
uh, all of the expense is really high. Yeah, especially with inflation right now. I really am hoping to get a job next semester. There are a lot of places near campus that pay more than the on-campus jobs, but also I have friends that like take advantage of that and they do like they work in the library, but then can like do their homework too. I babysit all the time. I was a nanny at home, so there's definitely like Facebook groups and um, like a connect pages that you can join to find people who are looking for babysitting in your college areas. I think that was super helpful because I got to make money doing something I enjoyed doing still. We're in the way of this. Oh, oh the, the robot. robot. <laughs> 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 the robot. He delivers food. I think the meal plans are overpriced and you can probably get away with not getting the most expensive one. Highland Park's pretty expensive. I used to DoorDash a lot, like freshman, sophomore year, because I was lucky I had a car. Um, so that was a great way to make money, just, you know, kind of pick your own hours. So yeah, I'd say that. But saving money around here, I, I guess don't go out to bars and stuff a lot. Of. I'd say on the money saving side, utilize the resources that you have on your college campus. Um, you know, the dining opportunities are great. I mean, they're obviously not always like the best cuisine, but <laughs> You know, utilize the resources that you have and try to save as much money like where you can in your spending. Have you considered like working in housing? Like when I was in college, um, I worked as an RA and so that completely paid for my housing and meal plan and all that. Is that kind of similar at your school? Yes, that's similar. Um, I have a lot of friends who do that as well, but I personally just don't want to live in the dorms longer okay. than I have to. So, um, yeah. And what about as far as saving money? Do you have any tips and tricks for that? Honestly, I think I can improve on that one. I would love to learn more about different tips and tricks to save money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually have some content about that. So, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> feel, yeah. Free to, feel free to reference sure. to it. <laughs> what about as far as like making money while in college? Do you have any experience with that? Uh, right now, I am working here as a teaching assistant. Since I'm a graduate student and I'm doing here as a graduate teaching assistant so I am not allowed to work or make money from the other source but the undergraduate student they make money in any, any in different ways. Was there anything that your teachers from high school said that college would be like that ended up not necessarily being the case for you? I feel like we always got like the quotes from our teachers in college where it was like oh they like they won't hey they won't handle this in college they won't put up with that and it was like not true. Yeah, I think my teachers a lot of times thought that the college professors wouldn't be like understanding and they were like, we're preparing you for college. But all of my professors here are like super understanding. I mean, for the most part. So that was something that was different, but honestly probably prepared me well because I like want to respect my professors regardless. I think that a lot of my high school teachers told me that my college professors would not listen to me and because he would just be a number and honestly I mean we do go to a smaller school but I have pretty good connections with most of my teachers and I still talk to teachers from my last semester so I think that's pretty inaccurate. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'd say the same. I think that the like professor-student relationship, and it obviously depends on where you're going, but I think that it's a lot more casual than a lot of high school professors let on. Um, I think if you, but you have to initiate the relationship with that professor. My college professors are a lot more chill than my high school professors, just because it's more on you to do the work than your high school teachers like making you turn something in every day. They all say it's going to be like a lot harder and like a lot more work, but. I think as long as you manage your time, um, you kind of pick the right classes and don't try and overload yourself, I, I think it's super manageable. Um, I think a lot of people come into college like worried that it's going to be this super insane workload, but I, I think as long as you manage your time, you'll be okay. So have you ever had like any experience with professors accepting late work or even like giving extra credit? Has that been the case? With like family emergencies or like being sick and stuff they've been pretty understanding or even like mental health I had one professor who was super like understanding of that of some of my classmates and so does that answer your question that does, yeah <laughs> and what about like the difference between grad school versus undergrad like how's the coursework a bit different for that uh, you know in undergrad the difficulty level is different but in grad level you have to learn some things you have to apply those things and uh, you have to connect your research with your materials so you know lots of challenging things we have to survive here and you know phd is pretty different compared to undergrad things 
in undergrad you will just learn some basic stuff but in phd you have to learn some high advanced things if i compare both graduate and undergraduate student maybe undergraduate student makes more fun because they are more relaxed compared to us and in spite of this challenging for doing phd but i enjoyed my time here really so what do you regret the most as it relates to your college experience mm. i think i came in with this mindset that Everyone has to be a part of Greek life, so then I forced myself to join a sorority and I ended up dropping and I just wish I would have been more open to not being in one from the start. Yeah, I completely understand that. Like I have a lot of family members who are in sororities and they were really trying to get me into one on campus and I was like, eh, I don't think so. <laughs> I kind of only made like one group of friends and I relied on those people to be the people I spent all of my time with. Um, and those people ended up not being my people, which is perfectly fine. Um, but it took me until second semester to realize, like, you can have multiple groups of friends and multiple different people you hang out with, and that's totally okay. Yeah, I mean, I'd say it took me a little bit of time to branch out, and then once I did, it was, like, addicting to just keep on branching out to more and more people, and so I wish that I'd sort of not been as scared to do that in the first few weeks of school. And how exactly did you guys meet um, as friends? So we rushed the same sorority earlier this year, and so I think through joining an organization, not necessarily a sorority or a fraternity, but something with that same sort of like camaraderie, I think it really, really brings people together. And so we've gotten pretty close <laughs> from that, so yeah. I'd say I, I wish I took like a second major, and I think I could have if I'd started thinking about it earlier, mm -hmm. but I would say, yeah, that's probably my biggest regret. I regret uh, lots of things for regretting because, you know, we came from uh, developing country but now we are developed nations so lots of things are pretty different from my country from here i could have lots of options to spend my undergrad time to read more to earn knowledge more but due to some social circumstance and some different barrier i could not do that but in u.s you have plenty of options to gather your knowledge it's kind of like a situational thing. I wish I had like a, I mean, I love my roommate, but like I wish I would have, I wish I was like more close to my roommate, so I wish I would have had like more of a say in that. Was there any experience that came as a shock to you that you have had so far while in college? I was pretty surprised, like freshman year, going out um, to a lot of the fraternity parties and stuff. I think it was pretty crazy, like the amount of money that a lot of the fraternities spend on their parties and like they have artists and it was like tons of people. Um, I think that was a surprise. I guess dining halls like aren't always like great, but I was hoping for something a little better. Um, so I guess that was kind of a shock. Yeah, but, I, I yeah. understand. Yeah, I don't, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's not the best sometimes. I mean, it depends. Like with my university, the best food was like the one that was closest to the football field. I think they feed their athletes better than mm. the average student in who That was my school. Yeah. <laughs> More related to school. I think I, I, I was a little bit surprised by um, how school wasn't super hard. Like I thought I'd be studying like nonstop, but really you have a you have a good amount of free time what has been like one of the main key differences between like the education system here in the u.s versus in bangladesh especially in u.s they focus on more applied based but in bangladesh we didn't have any option to apply our study materials but here we have plenty of options like i am doing phd in math in bangladesh we have done some calculation we have learned some theorem but here we have the opportunity to apply those things and you? I think uh, the main difference is that here the professors try to impose what I have learned from the class and try to apply this, but it's, it's different from Bangladesh. What's the last piece of advice that you would have for those watching this video today? Go meet people. Don't be afraid of people. Join different clubs. You can be more well-rounded. I would say that you have to be passionate. In my case, I am doing PhD, so it's pretty challenging. So if you want to do that things, you have to be passionate. College is a scary time. You are figuring out life on your own and figuring out your own footing, but everyone else is in your shoes, so go talk to people, make friends, and don't be afraid to try new things, even if it's not what everyone else around you is doing. Going to college, just have fun. I mean, obviously you're paying a lot of money here, so your number one focus is your studies, um, but manage your time and make sure you have free time, but don't slack off, but enjoy it, because, you know, once you start working, it's <laughs> a lot less fun than it's going to be when you're in college, so. I remember when I was trying to go to here specifically, I was super stressed out and, like, concerned that I would, like, get in or that, like, everything would work out. 
Um, and like I know it sounds cliche and you probably hear it every day from like your parents and stuff but like it's actually going to be okay like you'll, you'll get it figured out um, I don't know there's gonna be stressful times but like I promise you like you just if you fight through me you'll be you'll be you'll be straight you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna make a lot of mistakes and you can't really stop yourself from making mistakes but what you can do is you can learn from your mistakes and you can learn from the people around you and you can grow from them and so just be expected to make mistakes but also you know know how to move on and learn from them awesome well thank you so much for this interview thank you. <laughs> well guys that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching make sure to comment down below if you have any other additional advice for those watching relating to college or academics whatever it may be and also feel free to follow me on my other socials such as instagram tiktok and all that anywho bye